All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are going to break down the Green Bay Packers schedule for the 2024 season. So let's get right into that. So uh, i got to switch around the stuff here. So the Packers last year, it was a roller coaster of a season for them. They were up and down, and they finished the season strong, made the playoffs, won at Dallas, won by a lot. Well, the final score ended up being, I think, 48-32. Actually, they watched the highlights of that game last night. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of the, the playoff highlights from last year, and it does make me miss football. And But we still got, we, we still got some ways to go before we get there. Uh, like I said yesterday, I, I don't want to rush the summer, but it does get me hyped up for the season. So, um, but yeah, this is the Packers schedule right here. Last year they made they were the last team to make it in the NFC. They were the seventh seed. They made it at nine and eight, and like I said, they beat Dallas. They lost that tough game to the 49ers, but now they're looking to take a bigger step forward and be even better, and I think they will be. So, right off the bat, though, they get tested. They take on the Philadelphia Eagles in Brazil. So, that, that is the Friday of opening weekend. And I think the Eagles are favored by a point and a half. I think that's what it was the last time I checked. This game definitely could go either way. Now, the last time these two teams met, that was back in 2022. And it was a very high-scoring game. And actually, Jordan Love did play in that game a little bit because Aaron Rodgers got hurt. I forget what the injury was. But he ended up getting hurt. Jordan Love came in, played it a little bit, and he threw a touchdown pass to Christian Watson. I mean, it was really all Christian Watson. You know, it was kind of a, a slant route that, you know, Christian Watson took to the house. Um, but that I think so I think this final score was like 40 to 33 or something. It was like a, like I said, very high scoring game. And I don't know if we're going to see that because I think both defenses are improved since then. Now, how much improved, who knows? We'll have to see cuz even when the Eagles had all, all those players have double digit sacks, there were still times where they gave up a lot of points. And they did in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. And then last year, I mean, it, it was even worse. Especially the final game they played against the Bucks. I mean, that was some of the worst attempts at tackling I've ever seen. But this should be a very entertaining game. Two young, talented quarterbacks going at it. Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts. I don't know. This one, This one's tough to decide also you got two running backs now with new teams Saquon Barkley on the Eagles side and Josh Jacobs on the side of the Packers I'm gonna say the Eagles win this one I think it'll be a very close game but I'll, I'll take the Eagles uh, so the Packers start off the season 0-1 then they're at home against Anthony Richardson and the Colts this could be an interesting game um I'm going to say the Packers do win this one. I think it'll be close, but I like the Packers in this spot here at home. So I'll give them the win. At the Tennessee Titans, I'm going to give them a win there too. We'll see how Will Levis is with his trio of receivers. But I'm going to take the Packers here. I think the Packers are a better team. Week 4, Vikings come to town. Divisional game. I like the Packers in this spot. I'll give them the win there. I'll give them the loss against the Rams. So right now I got them at 3-2. and two. Then they get back on track. I'll say they beat the Cardinals. Kyler Murray coming to town. I think that could be an interesting game. But I'll take the, uh, I'll take the Packers. So right now, got them at 4-2. and two. Then, at the, then the Texans come to town. That, that's definitely going to be a tough game. Week 7, two high-powered offenses. I'm going to say, I'll say the Packers lose that one. So they'll drop to 4-3. and three. But then I'll say they beat Jacksonville. I think they're going to at least split, they'll split with the Lions. So whether it's they win at Lambeau or they lose 
at Lambeau and win in Detroit. I think they'll split. So I'll give the Packers one of those wins. I'm going to say the Bears is going to be tough. Because, I mean, if the Bears are really good, I mean, I don't think the Packers are going to sweep them again. I think that could at least be a split. I'll say that's a split as well. Then the 49ers come in. That's going to be a tough game. Packers did almost beat them. And now it's in Lambeau. I'm going to say the Packers win. I'll say the Packers win that game. It's going to be very close, but I'll, I'll say they win. Dolphins come in. I think the Packers win that. I said that very confidently. But, you know, late in the season. This is actually on Thanksgiving night. Last game of the triple header. But I'll say the Packers win that. At Seattle, well, at Detroit, like I said, I think they'll split. Then, at Seattle, listen, the, the, that's a house of horrors for the Packers. Now, it's a little different because there's no more Russell Wilson. There's no replacement officials. There's no Brandon Bostick. This is Jordan Love against whether it's Geno Smith or it's Sam Howell. I'll say the Packers win that. And then they're home against the Saints. And if you remember, Packers were down 17-0 going into the fourth quarter. They came back and won that game 18-17. I'm going to say the Packers win that one. Like I said, I have them... Uh, oh, okay, now with Minnesota. So this is... Uh, it, it's going to be interesting where Minnesota's at at this point. And, you know, we'll know... By then, how, you know, if, if well, I, I, I don't know if I should say we'll know by then if J.J. McCarthy's the guy or not, but, you know, by this point, you know, we'll see what kind of season he's having. Like I said, the Packers did split with the Vikings last year. I know, do I think they're going to split with them again? I'm going to see the Packers win. So I got them I got them sweeping the Vikings, which I don't know. But I got them splitting with like every opponent. Unless maybe they sweep one of them. Or they continue their dominance against the Bears and they split with the other two. But yeah, so there's that. And then week 18, the Bears. Like I said, they could split with the Bears. So... Looking at the schedule now, so what did I give them? So I said the Eagles was a loss. I said the Rams was a loss. The Texans was a loss. Two more losses in there. I'd say about 11, 12 wins. I think that's I think that's fair enough. I mean, they did win nine games last year. So maybe 11 and 6. You know, uh, 12 and 5. Around there, I still like I said, I still think the Lions are the best team in the division, but there are some tough games there. Like you, you know, the 49ers, you got the Texans going to Lambeau as well. I mean, the divi like I said, the division, or I have said, the division is better, and I guess maybe I sound like biased because. I got them splitting with the Bears, but I don't have... I have them sweeping the Vikings. And you got these two young quarterbacks that are going to be starting for these teams. The, th the truth is, I just don't know what to expect. I got to see how these guys actually play in the NFL. So I don't really know, but I think 11-6. and six. I, I, I think we'll go with that. 11-6... and six. And they should make the playoffs. So, but let me know what you guys think about the Packers schedule. Uh, again, there's some good games on here. They, like, you know, taking on the AFC South with all their young quarterbacks. I mean, taking on Jalen Hurts and the Eagles right off the bat in Brazil. Playing the Bears twice with their new look offense. The 49ers, the Dolphins. 
Dolphins in their explosive offense. They go back to the house, the house of horrors for them in the Seahawks late in the season. They take on the Rams and their high-powered offense. The Packers do have a bit of a tough schedule. But the Packers are a good team. So I expect them to, you know, like I said, win 11 games. 11, 12 games. I actually lean more towards 11, like I said, but... That's my thoughts on their schedule. Let me know what you guys think. How many games will the Packers win in 2024? So tomorrow, we'll do the Bears. That'll be the team we do next. So, before we go to break, just want to remind you guys once again to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we will talk about Jamar Chase and T. Higgins being absent from OTAs. And we'll talk about what head coach Zach Taylor had to say on the matter and whether it's a big deal or not. And I'll give you my take on it when we come back. So with that being said, stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 